Welcome to the Empire by this is Rampant and welcome back to my Crown of Poland campaign for the Zombie Sword of War mod where we're going to continue with that stuff from last time during the fall of Constantinople. Where, at this point in time, I have nothing else to do except for start fighting the Ottomans, which is, um, exciting to say the least. We're going to be starting to make our way over here now with my forces. I'm not ready for this war just yet. We need to get a little bit more preparations in place uh, because for the most part right now, I want to make it so we take uh, Chilia. I want to make sure we take this, uh, that's a city, that is a city. Um, I want to make sure we take that region. Uh, we could take, nah, no, that's a smaller. Um, we want to be able to take at least this region. And then basically try and hold you and you against them while we start making our way into Anatolia to start trying to do some good damage to them. Um, I do want to see, so... Yes. Got some spies over here, and I was already trying to send some down here. Let's scout and see where are their armies. Because I want to have it so that you guys are going to try and help us out. Try and figure out where they are right now. And see if we can maybe kind of scout out Anatolia a little bit. I need to get some more dip uh, a spies for that. Can I get me around here? Now I can get you guys. But basically, we want to make sure that we have a really good defensive line to be able to focus oh, down some of these armies. Um, and in the meantime, we'll be trying to kind of clear up some of these rebels while we're getting this all into position. Because I need to make sure we get a stronger navy. I need to make sure that we have all my troops ready and in position. So, like, right now, this is my fleet. This tiny one little boat. I'm going to need it to be slightly stronger if we're going to make sure that we are going to be able to survive any invasions or any drop uh, f uh, forces that we're going to have to face as we make my way over to Anatolia. So, let's try and get some ships around here. Start trying to grab more vessels there. And now, we just need to have it so... Uh, I know this area is pissed off right now. Hopefully you guys stop rebelling and rioting. I guess I'm going to give you guys 5%. I'm going to hope you guys will be okay next turn. I know I'm trying to move my pre uh, priests up this way to be able to kind of help convert. If the area rebels, we can deal with that. Um, I will try and have it so you need to, I think the Lithuanian Spearmen are free upkeep and these crossbows are as well, if I remember correctly, so we gotta have you guys be as free upkeep. Also, I'm actually gonna remember to bring this ship, uh, down back over here so you can join on up with my other vessels. But for the most part, it's gonna be a lot of us getting things into position. We're gonna try and clear out some of these rebels, because we have quite a few random, uh, Tartar armies that are all over the place. Actually, a lot of them. Wow, I just realized we have one here, we've got one here, and then... I know I'm also going to want to probably try and get rid of you guys. Uh, I would say let's repair that, get you guys the gibbets, and then I'm wondering if you guys would be okay if I try and move out of here. Let's see. Put you guys in there. Yeah, they are. So what we can try and do is we'll start with this. Try and finish off the remnants of, uh, of Kiev. Although, actually, wait. Ooh, actually... wonder. I have an idea. Because I know I wanted to try and steal somebody from them a while ago. Could I do it now? Maybe. Um, if those guys aren't married, technically I could actually ignore this force, leave it alive for right now, and then get it, uh, try and marry that general, then kill it. I'm actually not opposed to that idea, because that will make it so I can actually try and get the Kiev royal line because uh, it'd be you. Um, authority, loyalty, law. Like, he's not a bad dude. Yeah, member of Royal House. It. You, I'm going to try it. You know what? I am going to try that because there's two generals here. Um, it's only the... Yeah, it's only the other one is the one that I want to try that with. So, oh, hey, we'll try it. We'll see if that's going to work. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, that's okay. But we'll try and have it so for right now. Um, we are going to be having it so... We're preparing our invasion, so I'm going to need to make sure I have uh, probably two of you in each city um, down here. And then also I need to try and have it so we're going to start trying to get rid of these guys. Also, I do want to try and have it so... Let's see, it was round. Yeah, Hugh can start getting me. So, like, these Polish knights from up here that I can get, I'm definitely going to grab them. Lancers I think we'll kind of hold off on getting, but, like, you guys are a pretty good basic cab unit for me to recruit up around here. Also, keep getting more of the halberds. I do want to upgrade more of the Saxon villages at some point. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, they only give me the one unit. But I know this is a, a area that I actually want to develop more. Yeah, it only gives me the one Saxon halberd, but I know this is a building. I will continue getting more of. But uh, basically, yeah, we'll just start, for the most part, clearing up these rebels around here, getting things in position, and then once we're ready, that's when we strike hard and fast at the Ottomans. 
Also, something interesting that I realized that I was trying to check and see if I was any mercenaries around here before I ended the turn. Uh, this place is actually happier without you guys in here, so Kiev should be safe. Shouldn't have that area be rebelling right now at this point in time. Because we don't need Kiev to be coming back at this point in time. That would actually cause a lot of issues if that did happen. So, we just need to keep that guy out of the city for right now. And uh, once we convert the region, they should be safe, and then we can properly like bring that guy back down south and start trying to have him help clear out more of these rebels. Because there's a ton of... I've seen at least four Tartar armies, so we'll be focusing a lot on killing those guys off. Um, I just want to leave that one army, the remnant of Kiev, alive. How many turns will it take for my priest princess to get over there again? I think it's like four turns from Kiev. No, not from Kiev, I mean from Krakow. So we'll be sending her over there. I'm hoping they are marryable. Uh, they might technically be married, but I don't know if rebels can have family trees. I don't think they can, and I'm hopeful that they don't, because then I can. I, I really do want to get that aura line. I, I really do. Also, I kept forgetting to use you to actually kill these guys. I will be doing that, although I do want to make sure, first and foremost, um, you, I want to be taking you out of here, because again, you're supposed to be trying to make your way up, and I actually want to have you grab the... Uh, the uh, thing that allows you to become the heir over there. So we'll send you up this way. You can kind of help build some watchtowers as you're making your way back over. Uh, these units, again, you're trying to make your way over to group up over around here because we're trying to grab more of those artillery pieces. And then, let's see. So everybody's doing okay. Also, technically, that one general I was talking about possibly stealing last time uh, is supposed to be Polish, so he might actually spawn for me, but I don't... He, if he was supposed to spawn for me, he would have been around Krakow if he was. Um, but for right now, let's have my princess. Let's see. Damn it! Can I do the same? Can I actually do this? No, no unmarried generals. Damn it! Okay, I was hopeful that you guys were unmarried generals, but if that is the case, then we are going to just kill these guys. So, if I cannot marry these guys, I will straight up just murder them, finish them off. They'll be the first of the um, forces of rebels that we're going to be trying to kill off. So, we'll start off with this today. And then... Right now, we're trying to gather troops around my center, my, my the core of my country, gathering more men around there. I do need to double check again because I took a lot, I've taken a lot of damage on some of my uh, wagon forts. Try and see if there's any more wagon forts available because I'm going to need those against the Ottomans for sure, especially due to the fact that I know they definitely have a lot of cav focuses usually. So let's grab you guys, grab you up, uh, grab up the let's get right here. It's gonna move you guys off to the side a little bit, right there. Put stakes down. And then put stakes here. I don't know why yours is messed up. That's okay. But right there, right there. You guys group up. Then I have my gun units. Get you guys down here. Crossbows here. And then infantry. Right there. Right there. And then other infantry on the other side. And then infantry. Just uh, cab, I mean, sorry. Pull back here. Sword to battle. And then I will hope that they advance onto me. Um, and then let's adjust my guns here. You guys there. You guys there. And then you, same kind of deal. And hopefully they'll advance onto us. If they don't, I'll send my cab over to try and harass them. To try and instigate them into fighting me. But we, we've been pretty consistent with the AI so far. Where they will usually, even if I have my wagon fort, they'll try and uh, rush on towards us. Not the best idea, but hey, I don't mind as it makes it so I can do a lot of damage with my forts. And it has allowed me to deal with some armies that are fairly large in comparison to my army. Alrighty, they are starting to get in range. You guys can start unloading into the enemy army. I'll have it so that, uh, let's see, so let's get you guys kind of run up to the left side. You guys kind of off to the right side a little bit. Do some heavy cav over there. The peasants I expect to break pretty easily. Get you guys over here. Probably have to fight that Royal Bandarum unit. And then at the moment, let's see, they're steadily dying. Some of the cav, or are you guys going to try and charge my stakes? Uh, you're going towards my infantry, it seems like. Okay. So let's get my cav, get ready over here to start trying to help them. And then uh, you are fighting the Royal Bandarum over here. So let's get these guys, the halberds, try and help out over here, since you guys do have bonus versus cavalry. Get over there, hopefully it doesn't just run away. And then they charge into you. It's the infantry that charged into you. Yes, the axemen there. Oh, not exactly what I want there. Okay, Cav, let's get you guys to kind of run around the backside. Let's have you focus for the most part right now. First on this noble Cav. Can't deal with you guys. I should be careful there. I'd actually rather try and focus on the ca uh, the skirmishers. A lot of them are already breaking already. Let's see. This Cav, you guys keep focusing on those nobles. 
Royal Bandarium came over here to try and fight me. So focus on the Royal Bandarium there. Number wise, the half their army is dead so far. I'm really going to want to try and retrain you two, because these guys have gotten a lot of experience. Now that I actually have some of that recruitment available around here, I probably will run all these guys down. These are rebels. I would say there's no real reason to run them down, except for more experience, but no, we can just end that battle there. Wilhelm has been able to kill another force, finish off the remnants of Kiev. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, I will try and have those uh, other cab units go back and be retrained. We are slowly developing my regions so that we have more of my military infrastructure close to my border with the Ottomans, because I don't actually have that at the moment. So that's going to be a top priority with my economy right now, where it seems I'm making about 10 to 15-ish K per turn. And so, now that we've been almost able to finish up all of the, um... Uh, these things, the local assemblies, um, and everything like that. We should be able to start putting more money into actual development of money and military. But yeah, let's keep trying to build up watchtowers around here. Um, what kind of mercenaries around here? Not Nothing that I want. But yeah, these two, uh, you're pretty low. I'm actually going to send you guys, what was it, Bacow? I think it was like a those units. No, it was uh, over here. 15 turns. I think you'll still be able to trample over there. Or maybe actually send you... I'm going to get them built up there. I know your castle. These are two castles. I really want to develop you more. Because, like, I could eventually get... Yeah, I could get the passive spearmen here. Uh, you guys... Ooh! I can see my Hussar Lancers. Nice. So that's where they are. I was wondering where they're attached to. They're technically attached to my military buildings. So... Or my uh, infantry buildings. Not to crossbowmen. Um, I would say, honestly, I'm going to have you guys just build these up. Although we will want to, um, it wasn't the mercenary camp. Did I already build that technically? Because there was the regional one too. Where was it? It was the feudal barracks. What do I need for this? I need Lord Estates. So I need Lord Estates around here, which I haven't developed in either of these areas. And then I can get those cab units. These guys are pretty happy around here, so I could grab those. I'm not opposed to getting these first. And then we could try and grab that. Yeah, no, I think that's okay. So we can try and do that. Build those up. Now that I have built that... Well, okay, so if I can't have you... Uh, who do I want you to go for? Actually, no, let's try and see if we can steal somebody from, maybe from the Ottomans then, because if I can't steal... Uh, since those guys weren't marriable, we'll have to have you guys go down this way. Uh, also, I do need to make sure that... Let's try and have you grab... Let's see, so I'd say all yeah. these guys make their way out, and then I will be sending you forward. Need to make my way over down here. I have a little bit more money, so I'm gonna need proper rotation, decent little bit of income there. Um, although you guys can actually get the muster fields. Yeah, actually, don't get that, because that will allow me to get some basic knights around here. What else can we grab? Yasi. I have to still get yours there. I want to finish that up before we do anything else with you guys. So I might just save my money. Now you guys, you guys should get the small church around here because I need to convert this area. Oh, it's pissed off. I can recruit some troops around here. I'm gonna try that. Because I think you guys having so many beat up units is actually part of the issue. But we at least reset everything for right now. So let's try and bring you over there. You're trying to get back over this way. What is this unit? It's a... Oh, that's a good unit, actually. I, I need a... Uh, if I bring you both over here, now I can win this fight. The, the If it was a weak infantry unit, yeah, that'd be fine. Just one cav unit. But no, I need at least two. Kill this guy off really quickly and then turn back around and just have to make sure that Kiev doesn't run down. Because I don't know... I know in the past, yeah, in the past it's actually been pretty bad when uh, armies respawn sometimes. They can be really tough to deal with sometimes. And so I prefer if we just try and avoid Kiev coming back. So for right now, let's get you guys to kind of go off to the side. And we want you guys to hit them at the same time. And hopefully shatter these guys. Because they're at 153 initially. Flank them. There and there. And hopefully we just shatter this guy. Good amount of damage. About a third of them die. They do have armor piercings. We have to be careful. So pull back. We'll want to pull back and hit them again. A little bit of damage, but they lost a third of their unit. 
Let's wait until they pull back a bit more. Charge back in. And he's down to 100 guys now. There's another couple killed. The enemy are bad I need you to bloody. break. They also, I don't like how much damage that one general is taking specifically. Let's kind of pull back a little bit. Let's see if they'll yeah, kind of switch who they're focusing on. Because you've taken a lot of the damage so far. The other guy hasn't taken anything at all. Okay, charging in there again. Let's see, he's down 40. The battle seems to be Almost in dead there. From such oh, and they broke. Uh, we can end that battle. You guys are high enough uh, veterans see that we don't have to worry too much about that. There we go. So, that army is now dead. Now we'll have to have it so you two will keep watching over Kyo. And uh, see what you can do to prevent them from being pissed off. Uh, definitely going to try and get the church. Converting you guys is going to be top priority. Um, I can recruit priests right near here. So we can try and have them make their way over to try and help convert the area a little bit faster. Because I know that's the biggest reason, reason why it's pissed off. Hey, guys. Yeah, it's like, do you have enough movement? No. They don't have enough movement for one turn for that. Yeah, because you guys are at 4%. So keep trying to get some more stuff around there. And do you only have free upkeep for one? I thought you had more than one. Now you have three. Okay, so I thought the these guys are free upkeep. No, it's just the crossbows then. Uh, these guys would be free upkeep so that I can move out all of you up this way. Are they happy with that? They are at the moment. Yeah, so let's bring you up this way. Obviously, these units will make their way over here to kind of garrison the region. I do at least appreciate that the uh, rebel armies of the Tartars aren't doing all that much. They're kind of sitting there passively, although they are causing devastation. I know they are. Now, this is a suitable husband. I think I'm going to say no. Well, although this is actually a different family line. Who is that specifically for? That was for this guy, I think it was? Was it? No, it's the other one. It's for this guy. Kind of want to say... Well, let's see. What He was, um... Militarily minded? Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes. Oh, no. Wait, no, it, it did go through. Yeah, we'll say yes, because I want to have it so we more of a Royal Vanguard. So we'll join you on in. Um, let's keep trying to merge my fleets, and I can't merge you. <sighs> That's okay, so just just ignore that. We'll just try and merge these other vessels. And I can't! God damn it, I hate that. I forgot that this is what it does. And I mean, yes, is it's not going to let you merge with any... No, nope, it's not! Uh, I hate this in Zardoms. I forgot that it does this. So it was pointless to recruit all these. Nope. I can transfer the other ones, but the captains, the first vessel, can't. Ah, oh, that's painful. Okay, well... I'll have to recruit new ones, but it's a couple turns until I can get more. That's... Awesome. Uh, that's like the one thing I dislike about Zardoms. Okay, well, I can send you over here. Also, I do want to be able to try and pick up my spy here, because I think... Can you get... Yeah, you, you can get over there. Because I want you to like start slowly making your way down here, as I need you to kind of scout out and figure out... The lands I'm going to be trying to push into down here. How bad are they? Because I know these are con completely controlled by the Ottomans. And I'm hopeful that we'll be able to give those lands over to... So they still control that? They actually do somehow. Um, if we take those lands and give them over to the, uh, the Roman Empire, hopefully they'll actually hold them. That's my hope. Like, they're not going to lose those areas. Um, and then, let's see. So you guys need to get this. You guys can't get anything more like that. So that's okay. I'll have you guys just get the better farm for some more money. And then... Uh, Milan and Regus have been excommunicated. Do we have another crusade yet? We do! Um, at the moment, there's no Ottomans that I can select there. It's a machine. So, what we'll do then is let's just keep focusing my attention over on this stuff here then. Um, again, I think if I, it's weird that if I get the chapel... Yeah, no, it still gives me the, the ability to recruit priests, so I'll keep doing that. So we can keep sending you guys up this way. So you start can start helping convert this area. Yeah, no, because now you're technically in the region up here. Perfect. Uh, oh, perfect! You're all the way down here! So good. I'll have you be staying around here with the Royal Vanguard. So let's kind of move these guys up this way. You're now joining the Royal Vanguard! Good sir! Welcome aboard! Uh, group all you guys up, and then... For the most part right now... Are you guys actually happy with me taking most of these guys out of here? Yes. No. <laughs> No, that's 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 not surprising. Okay, so we have to wait a bit longer because uh, conversion is forty percent of that. So once that's been dealt with, then we can get you guys out of here. I do need to again though check over here. So are there? Because I think um, if I go here, yeah, no, there are waiting forts here. Perfect. So again, keep checking there. 
and then we'll send these wagon forts forward um, yes. because I want to make sure that we keep trying to send All those forward wicked. up here. Yes. So I'll send you... Because I'll basically be gathering a lot of my forces around here. I'm going to be basically gathering forces together, killing all these rebels, and you can see the devastation is starting to take up here. Yeah, so we do have to kill these. And this reminds me, I should remember to fucking do this. This one army's been sitting here. This one I can just auto-resolve, because that's like nothing. Over here, that's a pretty big force over there. I think we'll have to maybe wait on this one. Because basically what we'll be doing is... I'll have two armies. One army is going to have to strike here. One army is then going to be going over here, and that one will be the one that I drop off and actually start hitting Anatolia with. That one's going to need a very large fleet to defend it. So, we're going to have to try and make sure that I hate that it's going to take a little bit longer to do this, but I have to individually just recruit one ship at a time to add on to my fleet, and I will slowly but surely be able to eventually get everything set up and squared away so that we can actually invade Anatolia. Uh, oh, actually, wait. In the meantime, let's stop that for a second. So remember to get this first, then we can get the, the economic buildings later. Also, I actually did find another Jonah's bodyguard um, that I might be able to try and uh, seduce, possibly. Also, I'm going to accept you, because again, the kind of the mentality I have with the fact that eventually I want to get the other general's body, or the, I want to get my previous son to back to the throne. Um, all these other generals I don't mind having, because they're just going to be fodder. <laughs> I'm just going to get them all killed. Um, so, you are also militarily minded. I'm going to be sending you into the uh, Royal Vanguard, so you can make your way over here. Uh, but yeah, there was this army here that I think... I wonder if it's just maybe I need to get closer, but I do have... Uh, I have. I can try you to see if you're not married. It does look like you are married, though, is the issue. So, I feel like I'm still going to have to continue just making my way down here towards the Ottomans, which... Uh, it's in the borders there. <laughs> it kind of concerns me a little bit. Let's see, you guys. For right now, I'd probably say I want to make sure you guys aren't losing population, but I also need to make sure you're getting converted. So, get the chapel there first. Uh, back up here, Theodoro. Theodoro is actually doing pretty good for themselves right now. So, you guys are good. I would say we can start trying to. Well, there's a lot of corruption around here. Let's see, this one. Uh, that's due to happiness. It's not a negative due to law. That one is due to law negative there. I'd probably say I would like to get more law around here if possible. Which would only really be the council chambers. Um, I'd say it's not a bad thing to get. Although growth is not at the moment going up. So let's get you guys a better farm here first. Uh, you guys got the better chapel there. Um, let's just have it so... Uh, just keep getting that. We want to get a better conversion bonus up around here. We're going to try and... Con oh, actually, no, wait. Again, if I get this, I can't uh, recruit priests. So, just recruit these guys around here. Um, I am able to get more ships. So, I'd have to... Basically, I'm going to have to keep going around to my various ports all over the damn place. And slowly but surely keep grabbing more vessels. I, th I think... Um, yeah, this one right here. So, go to this one first. Get this ship. And then I can have it so the next turn we'll go over to this port. I'll be able to get a ship from here and keep doing that over and over again. And then let's see, diplomatic information. Serbia is at war with the Ottomans now. Sidley is now allied to St. John. Nice. I'm kind of also tempted at one point. I'm possibly tempted of maybe taking this down here. It's rebel and giving that over to the Romans just to strengthen them because they still control this island. Uh, they've definitely not conquered anything at all. Could actually eh, almost maybe go over there for them first, but I still think Anatoly is going to be the best place to go there. Uh, over here, so you guys don't have your t t decree yet. Theodosia. Mm. Ooh, I can get a Venetian trading port. Venetian colonial archers. Mm, not bad. Nine armor, six melee defense, two shield. Like, they have stakes. That's not bad, actually. Um, I will want to get something like that low. Oh, ooh, actually. <gasps> My boyos! My boyos are back! Oh, I get to have these guys again. I'm so getting this. Out of every single unit that I can get out of these, so much better. 10 armor, 5 defense skill, 8 shield. I just, I love these crossbows. They were better than some of my Roman infantry at times. Um, and then just hand gunners. I'm, I'm getting the Genoese outpost. I'm so getting that at some point. For right now, though, get the prison, get the law bonus, get that first, because there's a lot of corruption over here, and uh, that will just help us out a little bit more. 
pretty sure that at the moment right now, my all my other armies are just slowly getting in position. Yeah, I'm going to have you sit here, because eventually oh, I am going to get the building that allows me to retrain those guys around here. I'll do that basically once this finishes, two turns after that. Um, other than that, right now, it's just these forces are grouping up. Basically, I can just gather a lot of these forces around over here first, because uh, there's this one right here we need to kill. There's this little guy we need to kill. There's this army we need to kill. There's this army we need to kill. Um, and then there's this one over here we need to kill. So there's a lot of rebel armies we need to kill before we deal with them. Yes. I'm going to say, basically I have to leave you for Man, last. March. I'm going to bring these men over this way. Because I want to focus on this one first. Let's see. Mashlock Archibus. Ooh. So this should possibly give new access to new units now, too. Extend Europe. Run the Kingdom out of the Corvus of Hungary. So... We don't necessarily get a new unit. Hungarian handguns are no longer available, but then they get a new unit type unit too. But no, we should be able to get access to this one, the Uskok uh, Archipusers. I think I actually I remember recruiting those guys in my um, Roman Empire campaign, I think. Mission success. Spread the word load. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, just keep gathering more and more men around here for right now. And then you. Ooh. Oh, you guys came in from a page. Alexander Lakowski. Because you are Polish healthy. Isn't that my family line? An honor to no, 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 it's not that family line. Okay. So, not the one I was thinking of. Uh, let's have you keep making your way over around here, keep building the watchtowers, and then you'll be joining up with this army uh, next turn. I will say, though, um, let's see, I've got some mercenaries. This army is a little low on troops. I think we're fine. For now, at least. Oh, this is going to be a bridge battle now. Oh, they have a lot of archers. Actually, let me check something first, because they can't run. Um... <laughs> I'm a dick. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hello, Royal Vanguard. Thank you for joining us on this fine day today. Um, you guys here, first and foremost, get some more law. We'll, we'll spend some money before I slaughter this army. Uh, you guys are trying to get the chapel. I'll have to get you guys that later. After that, you need to get to this one as well. What else? Let's see. I don't have growth around here right now. I would say the windmill. Get the windmill there. And then I think for right now, I might just save my cash. Yeah. I can't get the what buildings I really want right now. Uh, oh, I had a lot of people come of age. Holy shit. Yeah, I had three people come of age. I had you. You are militarily minded. Uh, you were this guy's son. Oh, you're not on this family tree. Oh, man, this guy looks badass. I love this guy's uh, thing right now. Oh, beautiful. Let's see. So you are administratively minded, so I'll be wanting to have you be a governor. You're currently up here. I might actually have you just stay here to be able to watch over this city eventually, because at the moment... Yeah, that is that guy is your, your father, so I'll have you stay here. You will be the one that kind of takes over that position eventually. Um, we also had... Oh, that's, that's the one I just looked at. You are administratively minded. So I would have this guy. Yes. Um, that's over here. I don't think I have anybody. No, I have somebody over there. That was the other one, too. And you are administratively minded. I would say let's try and send you to Krakow or Kiev. Uh, you can try and go over here. We'll say that. And then... Um, I just realized, again, I have more of these guys that are available to be recruited, because they have a 10-turn re uh, replenishment timer. I just want to keep getting those guys every once in a while, whenever I can, because this is by far the best infantry unit we can recruit. So whenever I see them available, I want to try and grab them if possible. But now, before I forget, I should remember to go kill that army with my Royal Vanguard. You do need to make your way over here. Oh, you're not going to be stuck. Yeah, because we'll get you a ship. I think they cost 600, right? Yeah, I'll have to get you that next turn, but we can slowly but surely keep continuing to improve my navy. And you make it right up this way. And now let's be mean to the remnants of Kiev and slaughter these guys. I'm going to command you myself, because um, I just need the extra cav, basically. And this army is going to die. It's either they're going to walk across the uh, bridge into my wagon forts, or they're going to be flanked by my royal vanguard, who has... All the cav I need, because they just have a lot of archers in this army, basically, so if we surround this army, they're so dead. 
There's a really dead, and then basically I'm going to be merging these armies together into one and start trying to clear out those rebels. Start clearing out those rebels, and then let's see. So let's start the battle. Again, group you guys up. I don't think they're good. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? I... I... I better get those back. They were the first thing that died. What the hell? My wagon force just fucking drowned. What the fuck? It's okay. It's okay. They're they're most likely to recover. <sighs> Given that they were the first casualties on this fight. Even though the battle hasn't started. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I can get more. I can get more. I am not gonna. I want to burn down the world right now, but it's okay. Oh god. Why the fuck did that just happen? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Get on the map. I better recover them. They were the first casualties. I better recover them. Because so often, if they're for the first casualties I have in a battle, I will likely recover them. Mm. It's more fair this way, I guess. Note to self, do not try and put wagon forts near bridges. They instantly die for some reason. Yeah, you guys are just getting mowed down here if you try and cross. Good. You deserve to be mowed down. Yeah, bring you guys on in here. Boy, our sons are dying instantly now. Hey, keep focusing on the cav here first. Then we'll focus on the archers after this. Although now we, I think we can just start charging into them now. Like, there, there, uh, there. My my cav, I think. Let's see, are they still firing? Yeah, they're still firing. Um, I, I will leave my cav, my other cav behind for right now. I'll just get you guys kind of, yeah, running in here. Get on in melee. I can at least probably maybe bring you guys over. Although they are firing into the enemy army here. I don't think we really need to worry. Although, no, I'll just bring you guys up. Bring you guys infantry forward as well. These guys I should try and push back over this way to help out. Because so far they've lost a third of their army already. Let's get my cap to group up over here. Focus on one unit at a time. We just need to break these guys. We don't need to properly kill them all. So, focus on the cav there. The other cav is joining on in. There we go. Archers are almost dead there. Let's see. Focus this archer down first. Then we'll say we'll focus on this noble cav unit. There we go, guys. Yeah, archers, uh, infantry go after the archers, I'd say. I'll try and go after them in a second. Since, uh, for the most part, you're missed. You're just not catching up to them. I'll focus on this militia unit. God, I really hope I get back my goddamn guys. Let's have you two go over here. You three, I'll get back over this way. I need to help out against the units that are attacking me over here. Hey, can you not let them attack my uh, javelins, please? Please, just just don't just let them in instantly do that. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the only guy left now at this point. Yeah, he's running. There we go. Now, I swear to God. I healed my wagon fort. What about my other one? I didn't heal my other wagon fort, so I healed at least one of my wagon forts. That's, that's all I recovered. Just that one wagon fort. God damn it. I think the game is trying to say, hey, you have a problem. You have an addiction. We need to get these things away from you. Otherwise, things are going to be bad for the rest of the world if you just have so many wagon forts. At least I just recently found another mercenary of wagon forts. I wonder how often they replenish. It looks like maybe like every five to ten turns, I think it is, roughly. So if we just keep checking that area occasionally for more wagon forts, we'll find more of them. It's just... They must fear us now. I'm so sad. I'm so sad that we lost them there. Um, this guy I want to have go be retrained, so yeah, you should go back and... Go be retrained in Krakow. Looks, looks like we have another army of rebels over in the west, possibly. Uh, but basically, you'll need to group up with us. I'm probably going to get rid of these guys. 
Yeah, these guys are crap. I'm not going to use them. I will have it so that what we want to do is five units. I'm going to take these wagon force. I'm going to merge them together because this one, that at least means I have three proper full stack ones. Um, then three more slots. I'm just going to grab the Royal Vanguard with you guys. Although, William has to at least give that one trait over to you first, so I can actually have you be my next heir. Um, these guys, I would say try and keep making your way to the west. Keep trying to group up over here so we can get those guys ready and waiting to see what we can do with them. But yeah, it does look like there's a rebel army over there. That's not a bad army. It is enough that I would actually need a stronger force than what I have. Alrighty. Let's see, so we've got a new mission. Uh, a proposal for the princess's hand. I'll get minimal military units for this, though. I'm not opposed to it, because if I can't steal other generals... I, I can send you over that way, so it was... Um, right here. So yeah, I can send you over there to yes. marry him. Like, why not? It's gonna give me free military units, so why, why not? Um, fuck! They're dead! Ah uh, no! I might still be able to do this. I it has to, it's okay. It's going to be more complicated now, but I think we can still do this because I still I want them to control that land. So I think what we have to do now, instead of just giving land over to them, I will now instead have to take that land and get it to rebel to respawn uh, the forces of the Roman Empire. I think that's how we're going to have to go about it. But I'm just so sad that they're dead now. Because yeah, they've now lost this. Oh! It's Rebel. So they actually lost a family member is how they died. Okay. It's just whether or not I feel like I did then have to I'd have to focus my conquest over here. I'd have to make sure it's land that would be near actually I might have to just do it in Constantinople. I might have to have it so Constantinople's the first fucking area I hit to try and have it so we can get the Roman Empire to spawn again. Moving Shit. Cause what other territory did they it has to be lands that they controlled initially. It's um, I think Constantinople's the best bet. Sire. Fuck. Constantinople's an area I also kind of want to control for myself, though. Um, these territories might keep around here might work, too. We're going to have to see about that. That really does throw a wrench in my plans of what I wanted to try and do with them. I still think we can kind of do something similar. Again, yeah, you kind of keep making your way over this way. Um, I do need to now remember. So, oh yeah, you're going to be joining this army too. Uh, we'll have you be part of your own little thing. Okay. Well, first and foremost, this is this. So, you here. Uh, William? I actually don't want William in the Royal Vanguard, actually. I want him to have his own army. Um, so, what we're going to do is, I'll actually have you go out. You're going to join right here. And you need to give this trait over to him. So that he will now be the next in the line of succession. And then, I will say, yeah, you guys will still be my royal vanguard um, with this guy. Let's see if you kind of go over here and get rid of this random army. This is like, what, one dude? Yeah, dismounted units. Shouldn't be that hard. But I'll have it so... I kind of want to have you guys help lead the assault on um, Antolia. Yeah, I think that's all I'll do. So I'll have you guys uh, make your way back down here. Also, these units here. This unit can be retrained. Everybody else. Well, no, you two. You can be retrained. So you guys can be retrained. Send them back this way. Uh, these units over here cannot be retrained. So I'm just going to get rid of them. So that we don't waste any money there with you. Building-wise, we've got a little bit more cash. Oh, I do need to remember to before I forget. You need to go here. Get another ship for these guys. Because I think we need to have at least like a half a stack before we start trying to go for Anatolia. Because otherwise, if I lose my fleets um, when we're making that invasion uh, plan, uh, that could be disastrous. 
Uh, also, let's have you get the uh, Lord's Estates here. Because this area is happy enough that I can leave you here, but then also start slowly trying to get the stuff so we can get this. Also, you, uh, you were military minded. I thought I was going to have you join the Royal Vanguard. For right now, though, I'll say you can stay. Although, I don't know if I should really use these guys. These are also other really interesting uh, people. Like, they're important political yeah. figures since they actually have unique models for their oh, character cool. portraits. Alrighty, let's see. So I think I almost have enough guys around here that I'll soon be able to try and uh, push out to try and start killing these rebel armies. So I know you're gathering around with some more wagon forts here. I also want to double check now that I lost another one. Uh, I want to keep trying to check that every once in a while. So like over here, I think also if I cross into their territory. Yeah, there's more. So there's more if I go into the other territory a little bit. So perfect. So you can kind of make your way back over here because you'll be the governor of Krakow at some point. Um, start trying to make my way back over this way with more wagon forts. So if we can get two wagon forts every once in a while, that's actually pretty good. I am now the most advanced faction. Nice. Um, say so you... Oh, disinherited. Oh, disinherited. <laughs> okay, you're now the next in line of succession, as I was intending to try and do from the get-go. Wait. Oh, William didn't uh, move out of his army for a second there. Sorry. Uh, you guys are supposed to stay together, because I wanted you guys to both... Um, Make your way down here, and I want to have it so that you two will be the ones that will start the invasion from Anatolia, or into Anatolia. Um, need this treaty here. And then I think we also want to start trying to get some better roads if I can. So if I have a places I can build roads right now, I have enough money, I want to try and grab some. I think they're all building something right now, though. Yeah, a lot of these places are already building stuff. Uh, you can get this other treaty for you, you though. I think that's it, actually. So we can... Well, we get other stuff. So... You guys are fine. Mm. Ooh. I, I think it's the same unit that I can actually get already at the moment at the crack out. Um, Tempted. But also, money. <laughs> we need money. I could have sworn that I saw... I think there's some better buildings. Than, yeah, like, so like, right here. Crop rotation. That'll be a better one. Because that gives me money and growth. That'll be a perfect building to grab right around there. And then I do need to make sure that... Okay, so back over here. Uh, this fleet needs to make its way out. So, first and foremost, let's see. So, you've already gotten your boats. I know I saw some over, over by Kiev. These ones are... How many turns until they're ready again? Oh, I, okay, they're ready again. So, perfect. So, let's do this. So, I'll have you... I can go here first. Four turns there. Because we have to make sure you're in the region before I recruit it. Otherwise, it's not going to give me the unit. So you've got one. I don't think these ones are ready yet. Uh, four turns there. And uh, four turns there, too. So the port for this one. So I want to go right here. Go here. Grab a boat. Then I know I can get a boat up uh, here with uh, Kiev. And then also over here. So we'll be able to send you guys up that way. Uh, this area here, though. Um, let's send... Okay, I want to take more of the guys out that can actually retrain. So that'd be like these four units. They're good. I can have you watch over this city. And then if I can... Can I take everybody else out? Not yet. It's getting there. It's only it's at 45% still, so it's still pretty high. So. But it is improving. Because you guys have gotten it up to 17%. And also this unit is now here. So he now has all of these other priests that are going to help convert this area. So slowly but surely we are uh, converting it. But it does make me feel like the fact that I'm going to have to try and do more creative things to get Rome back. I do wonder if I should have it so Constantinople is yes. the very first place that we hit. Because that's got the best amount of Orthodox convert, uh, religion right now. Because if I get my... Because I'm slowly but surely getting my fleets together. I feel like that might be just the best place to hit. Like straight up. Also, we did get that marriage celebration. We did that. And they gave me some archers. Keep one. Okay. No! That's <laughs> not what I fucking want. Um, oh, I can only get the Lancers here. Is that all I'd be able to get up to? Oh, just yeah, I'd just be able to just get the Lancers. Uh, I'd just be able to get retrain you, but I don't actually want to like, send you guys somewhere else to be retrained. Like, you guys are not that far from being able to retrain them there, so like. I think we'll just send those guys down there for yeah. retraining. Send you guys here. Yep, can we grab? We can grab those. Yeah, no. Like this is not a bad unit. I'm definitely gonna be grabbing you guys as some more guns for us around here. Um, another faction's dead. Shit. There's a lot of people dying. 
faction announcements, new family member, trait increased, and then most fans faction the Ottomans. Okay, got that prison up here. And if you guys keep trading to get the better decree. And this is getting better. It's at 28%. Oh yeah, that went up fast. Yes. Uh, keeping the crop rotation. We need to keep trying to get some more money. And then you guys just got your barracks built up around here. Um, I would also say you guys too, because it was a uh, feudal barracks. This one can get more of them. This one can definitely get... Ooh. That's a nice cab unit. Yes, please. So, grab that around there. Uh, keep slowly trying to get more troops around here. Let's see. So, for right now... So, I've got a couple guys that are ready around here. I would try and say... Okay, so... You're now trying to make your way... Just ignore that one guy. It's a small enough army that we don't have to care. You're going to make your way back over this way. And basically, we'll have those guys support us as we're trying to make our way over to deal with them. So, you're trying to make your way over there. These guys will start trying to gather an army over here with uh, William and my uh, soon-to-be faction leader once again. Um, I'll basically have you guys slowly try and get an army over around here because I, I can get access to some of primarily this area. Um, I can get rid of some. I can get some hand gunners. I can get some artillery pieces. That's the main thing. But then also, um, I could have sworn. Well, I have these guys at least, which I will be trying to grab. Kind of something like one of you guys had access to like the caveats right here. I did at one point at least. Um, but okay, well, at least if anything, I know it was. Yeah, you guys. You guys, I will be trying to get the uh, the trading post at some point when I can, and that will be a really good unit for us to get as well. Another Tartar raid. God damn it! I haven't even gotten rid of the other ones yet. Uh, sure. Again, since I'm not going to be caring about this side of the family line as much, I'm more okay with sending you guys to your fucking deaths and just having a lot of you as my royal vanguard. Um, the official language of the Senate. Okay, a lot of stuff going on there. New mission, build a small chapel uh, over here. Yes, I can do that. Um, I'll queue it up. Queue that up there. Action announcements, construction report. Let's see. Yours. Yasi is now maxed out there. Perfect. Um, this is a city, so I won't be able to get access to the units I really want around there. Although, I have money. Does anybody have available roads that I want to build? Because I want more roads. Uh, not at the moment, it looks like. You do, but you're not building anything. You're building something already. I don't think so. Because my economy is doing better. Besides the fact that I'm recruiting a bunch of crap because we're about to be starting a massive-ass war with the Ottomans. Yeah, just go with just more farms, basically, then. Um, our economy's doing pretty good. Like, I've got all of this stuff ready around here. You guys seem like a pretty good light cab unit. Your charge bonus is really nice. What's that compare to, like, my normal heavy cab? Oh, let's see, because you guys just were trained all over here, so... Oh, you guys still have a better charge bonus. Yeah, you do still. Okay, but I would say that I do want these guys over here. Oh, so these three king. joining up here, because we almost have everybody ready to be able to attack you guys. Uh, this army here... Oh, no, I actually can get in range right now. So you're ready. Yeah. And then if I grab all of uh, these guys... Hello! Good to see you guys! Uh, I had some units over here. So I'll bring you into this army, just so we can slaughter this army a little bit faster. Uh, you also join this guy. And I know I was bringing more men, but you do not have enough movement to get over here right now. And we do need to have it so we take this army out, start trying to get rid of that devastation. So let me fight this battle myself. I'm going to have it so that this will be the last thing we probably do for today. Uh, you can't really move, so I'll have you be the one that does. Ah, damn it. I don't trust the AI controlling this army. Um, this army, I mean. So we'll just have to do that next turn, sadly. Okay, so at this point in time, again, I want to do one more fight at least. I want to have at least us get rid of this one army here. So you guys are going to be pushed back, but now I can properly hit you guys this time. Um, I'll let you guys be controlled by the AI, and uh, let's finish this army off. Then this will be the last thing we'll do for today. Um, then next video, we have a lot of troops to pull. I, again, I just want to try and get rid of more of these rebels, and then we're going to be starting our push into the Ottomans. I at least can strike the uh, border city they control. Take that and get somebody ready to just, like, watch over that region. We can do that. And then, um, I'm, I'm thinking, I just have to figure out, like, where the hell... Like, I'm just conflicted on what I do now that the Roman Empire is actually properly dead. Because I'm hoping that... If I go to one of those cities that has a decent amount of orthodox population, 
uh, our culture right now still that it will allow them to be reborn essentially that's my hope because I, 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 I I'm hoping that will happen I don't have a guarantee it will though so we might not be able to respawn them and if we can't respawn them and I can't like try and give them their land back finding the Ottomans is gonna suck ass so much let trying to adjust you guys. Oh, that's just busted there. That's fine. So uh, that will be fun to see if uh, we are not able to get them back. So we're going to have to see about that. Let's get you guys to put back here. And then infantry kind of off to the side. But I might just have to, and some of you guys might not be opposed to this, I might just have to straight up fight the Ottomans and take all of their shit. <laughs> Which is possible. Um, but yeah, let's have it so that I need to adjust my guns here. So like you guys right there. You guys can kind of back up there. And then I only have the two at the moment, so we don't have to worry about repositioning all of you. So it's right there, there, and then crossbows behind. So I move all my skirmishers forward, skirmish mode off, run on into position. And then hopefully the enemy will advance onto us. I'll have you kind of just kind of chill over here with us. So I don't know if I necessarily need you here, but we just have the additional horses just because. Because why not? Because at the moment here, all these horse archers should die rather nicely. Oh, my cab kind of start getting ready over on the sides. It's like right there, right there. They have a lot of light cav, a lot of skirmisher cav here. And so hopefully, yeah, there's a lot of skirmisher cav there. Yeah, my melee cab, I'm going to try and see if I can get you guys into melee with them, if possible. So let's try and get over here. You guys have to go around the side as well. Start trying to hit those skirmishers of theirs. I'm actually going to tell you to be aggressive. That way you can bring on in your cav. Please bring in that calf. Oh, did you guys already take- Oh, you took out two of my wagon forts already! Stop it! Stop pulling my wagon forts. They've taken enough damage today. Yeah, charge on here with my calf on that side. You guys are trying to charge in over here. 12% of the forces have died so far. So there's some infantry units we're going to want to avoid for right now. Kind of pull back here with you guys. Try and help out against those calf units for a second. 16% are dead. These cab units are doing nothing, so focus on the heavy cab there. Focus on the heavy cab there, because that's what we need to really focus your attention on, otherwise they're going to do some good damage to you. You're doing good over here. They're saying some of the cab over to the other army. Let's see, 23 to 11. Yeah, my wagon forts have stopped taking damage now. This is another the assault is infantry unit. In We're going to want to try and get you guys into melee with some of those skirmishers here in a second. Because I want to have them stop firing on me with their guns. Send these guys up to help out. Uh, they're about to charge you, so you actually want to yeah, brace that. You should be okay against them. But yeah, no. You guys make your way over there. Uh, this cab is actually struggling. Try and see if you can get out of there. That that side's struggling. Yeah, get let the infantry kind of support you. These cab units here. Yeah, a lot of them are breaking. This is a rebel army, so we don't need to run them all down. Yeah, 40% are dead already. Yeah, a lot of these are just skirmishers back here. Yeah, no, these two units took a lot of damage. Let's have you try and help out the Lancers first and foremost. Skirmishers seem to be good. Oh, I'm really hoping to recover those two wagon forts. Yeah, you get over here to help out against the infantry. And then now we want to start trying to spread the damage out here a little bit because these are all skirmishers. That's a spear unit. Ignore him. 54%. There you go. Charge on in. Focus those guys down. Hopefully they'll start breaking soon. Allies here. How are you doing? Are, are you being idiots? If we continue like no, you this, seem to be doing fine. Yeah, charge those cab over there. Please get them over here to help out as well. And there we go. Decent amount of damage on my army, though. More than I would like. We did recover quite a few units. Um, did you recover any of my wagon forts? I did! I did. I recovered all these wagon forts. Beautiful. Okay. So... Now, we'll be able to have it so that's at least one of the rebel armies now dead. Um, I will start trying to kind of go down south and then to the east. And basically, we'll take out the other armies that are around the borders of the Ottomans. That's when we'll take those, uh, we'll grab some of the artillery, push on in and actually hit the Ottomans at that castle. And then the rest of my armies will essentially kind of keep going to the east, make it so most of my men go over towards uh, uh, Crimea. So I can actually make my way over to uh, into Antonio with a lot of troops. I kind of feel like what I'm going to be doing is... Constantinople wouldn't be a bad spot. But also, I could try and go like around here too. Because I want to make sure that the land I try and respawn the uh, Roman Empire with 
has uh, is a bit more protected. So I might try and hit that instead. Also, we just get a shit ton of cardinals. Uh, we had two die, and we no, we had two of ours promoted. Nice. Okay. Building wise, though, what else do we got for right now? Got a little bit more cash right now. Uh, you get better roads, and that's all the money I've got right now. Okay. What we can do now is, uh, yeah, you merge some men together, and then this army here. Yeah, we just having you guys go down south and just keep working together with what these guys have uh, to get first this guy, first this guy, and then we'll have it so that we have to go over and uh, kill this one. There's at least this guy too. After that army is when we will attack this city, basically. But that will be in the next video. So I'm gonna hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts happen in general? I was Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time. First this guy, and then we'll have it so that we have to go.